wanted to talk about fractions of a group. Do you know where a great place to learn about fractions of a group is? Ms. Rose's kitchen! Before we poke around the kitchen looking for fractions, let's do a quick review of parts of a fraction. Each fraction has two parts, the denominator and the numerator. The denominator is the bottom number and tells how many pieces are in the whole or the whole group. In this fraction, the denominator is 10, which means that there are 10 circles altogether. The numerator is the top number and tells how many pieces of the set we're focused on. In this fraction, the numerator is 7 because 7 of the circles are black. Now, let's go to the kitchen and help Miss Rowe plan a simple meal. Miss Rowe is really thirsty and she would like hot chocolate. So let's find the fraction of hot chocolate that is in green packaging. First, let's find the denominator by counting the total number of hot chocolate packets she has. What is the denominator going to be? 4 is correct. Remember, the denominator goes on the bottom of the fraction. Now we need to find the numerator by counting the number of green packages. What is the number going to be? 1! Great job! Remember, the numerator goes on top. So the fraction of hot chocolate packages that are green is one-fourth. Hmm, if Miss Rose is going to drink hot chocolate, she's going to need a mug to put it in. Let's find the fraction of mugs that are blue. First, we need to find the denominator. What's it going to be? Five! Great job, because there are five total mugs. Now we need to find the numerator. What should it be? Correct! There are three blue mugs, so our numerator will be three. So the fraction of the mugs that are blue is three-fifths. That hot chocolate made Miss Rose hungry, and now she wants to eat something. Let's find the fraction of boxes that contain spaghetti. First, we need to find the denominator. What should it be? Six! Awesome! There are six total boxes. Now we need to find the numerator. What should it be? Two! Fantastic! So the fraction of boxes that contain spaghetti is two-sixths. After she eats the spaghetti, Miss Rowe is going to want a popsicle for dessert. Let's find the fraction of popsicles that are pink. As always, let's start with the denominator. What should it be? Eight! Good! There are eight total popsicles. What should the numerator be? Three! Stupendous! There are three pink popsicles. The fraction of the popsicles that are pink is 3 eighths. Great job finding fractions of a set. You are now fraction superstars.